Now listen, I've been out here all this time, and I haven't been complaining about anything yet, so I think it's time to go into the complaint department. This is just a series of things that are pissing me off, okay? A series of things that are pissing me off, because I don't have pet peeves. I have major psychotic fucking hatreds, okay? Nitrogen is being injected into the pressure vessels of the Fukushima plant's crippled reactors. Operator TEPCO says the inert gas will prevent another hydrogen explosion. In late October, Tokyo Electric Power Company found hydrogen accumulating in parts of the number two reactor at a density of up to 2.9 percent. Since then, the operator has been pumping nitrogen into the containment vessel. On Thursday, it began injecting the gas directly into pressure vessels of the number one, two, and three reactors to lessen the concentration of hydrogen. It's believed the density of hydrogen accumulating in the containment and pressure vessels is below 4%. Above this level, an explosion could occur. TEPCO says the nitrogen injection will push out hydrogen and reduce its concentration. The Fukushima government has asked for assistance from the central government to carry out emergency checks on rice for radioactive materials. Prefectural Vice Governor Yusaku Matsumoto visited Senior Agriculture Vice Minister Nobutaka Tsutsui on Thursday to make the request. The Fukushima government will check the crops of 24,000 rice farmers, more than one-third of the total in the prefecture. The request comes a few days after recently harvested rice there was found to be contaminated by radioactive cesium above the state limit. Matsumoto asked the central government to lease devices for measuring radiation, dispatch personnel to expedite the inspections, and shoulder the cost of the operation. Stui said the government would do all it can to offer the necessary support. We need thorough checks for radioactive materials in the rice. I will consult with all parties to encourage them to cooperate on the matter. The Japanese government is planning to free up more money to help people get their lives back together following the March 11th disaster. It's drafting another multi-billion dollar supplementary budget. It's the fourth for this fiscal year, which runs through March 2012. Prime Minister Yoshihiro Noda said, rather told Finance Minister Jun Azumi more money is needed to help people who are in debt in the disaster areas. He says they need new loans on top of existing ones. The new funding is expected to total at least $26 billion. It'll mark the first time since 1947 that Japan has drawn up a fourth supplementary budget. The money will help smaller enterprises pay off their creditors. Prime Minister Noda is expected to decide on the supplementary budget in mid-December at a cabinet meeting. I need to cut. I need to cut. I need to cut. I'm just having a real powerful wave of emotion right now because I, a whole new realization is opening to me about what I'm actually saying, and this is some serious fucking shit. So my head around it for a second. Fuck. <clears throat> okay, I'm ready. He's a prisoner of government. He's a prisoner of politics. He's a prisoner of economics. He's a prisoner of the Federal Reserve Bank of New York. He's a when the fish all die and the legs catch fire, will it be worth it then? And when 
the cancer rates 90% or higher Will it be worth it then? When the whole world's a war Over water and oil Will it be worth it then? And when there's no more fighting Cause there's no more spoils Will it be worth it then? If not, if not Become our greatest threat Will it be worth